Good morning, everyone. We are week 14, and so we're going to go through the top 25 college football playoff. Then we'll get into the six New Year's six bowl games. So let's get started. Uh, going through the top 25, the first thing you've got to look at going backwards here is who is the highest ranked group of five? Right now, Boise State's the only one ranked. They play Fresno State at home in the Mountain West Championship. Um, if they win that game, they're in. If they lose, we've got to consider the five conference champions of the group of five. Memphis has won the American, Conference USA. Marshall plays Louisiana Tech. Uh, in the MAC, Northern Illinois plays Bowling Green in their championship game. We talked about Boise Fresno, and the Sun Belt, Louisiana Lafayette is the champ there. So if Boise State wins, they're in. If they lose, you've got to look at the winners of these other championship games, um, which will have direct impact to the New Year's Six. Uh, Chick-fil-A, Peach, Goodyear, Cotton, or Vizio Fiesta. Okay, we know the top four based on last night. Little shakeup with TCU coming in at three. So you place Oregon, TCU, and the Rose, and you have number one, Bama, Alabama against Florida State, number four. That's if they all win their games in their conference championships, or in the case of TCU, they've got Iowa State. I really believe there could be a flip here um, at number three and number four with Florida State playing Georgia Tech, who's ranked number 11, TCU playing an unranked Iowa State, and I think we also have to consider in conference championship games, Ohio State playing Wisconsin. If they win that game, could they possibly rise up? They'll be a conference champ. If Baylor beats Kansas State, they're co-champs. If TCU beats Iowa State, does the head-to-head -head beating TCU come into play? Does being a champ now come into play? And then Arizona, if they were to beat Oregon in the Pac-12, they would have a chance, I think, of, of moving up. Other than that, I don't think anybody below Arizona has a chance to move up and shake the top four. Um, so let's deal with the other New Year's Six Bowl games. After we, the selection committee will place the final four, and again, this is not based on this week, this is based on what's going to happen potentially uh, next week as the selections are made, or I should say on Sunday this week. You got the Capital One Orange again. Remember, they've got to take the highest ACC team with Georgia Tech being number 11. If they lose to number four, Florida State, I don't think they drop lower than number 18, Clemson. So I think Georgia Tech, win or lose, is going to be playing in the Capital One Orange Bowl. Then, Big Ten or SEC non-champion, remember, non-champion of the Big Ten or SEC is who the Capital One Orange Bowl has to select from, or Notre Dame. Notre Dame's not ranked, so they fall out. So who's the highest ranked non-champion of the Big Ten and SEC? Right now, it's Michigan State, who doesn't play anybody, so they, I doubt they drop, I doubt they gain, so right now, Michigan State would be in there. However, if Ohio State, playing Wisconsin, loses, what does the committee do with Ohio State? They beat Michigan State, do they drop them below Michigan State, or do they keep them above Michigan State? So that's why we've got either Michigan State or Ohio State with a loss would be the com competition against Georgia Tech and the Capital One Orange Bowl. On the Ohio State-Wisconsin Championship of the Big Ten, if Wisconsin wins, I believe they're in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. If Ohio State wins, I believe they're in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. So Big Ten champ, I believe, falls into uh, the slot for the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. I believe they'll either play Mississippi State or Ole Miss, and we'll talk a little bit about Ole Miss being the one at the most risk right now. Uh, but let's fill the uh, Goodyear Cotton Bowl. You've got Baylor and Kansas State playing, which in some ways is the Big 12 championship game because if Baylor wins, they're a uh, Big 12 champ. They could possibly move up. But I think the committee pretty strong in putting TCU number three last night. Um, I think based on strength of schedule, I think Baylor or Kansas State winner gets into the Goodyear Cotton Bowl and fills one side. 
On the other side, again, Ole Miss or Mississippi State are available. If Ohio State loses, okay, and they keep Michigan State above Ohio State, then Ohio State would fall into the Goodyear Cotton Bowl slot to play either Baylor or Kansas State. If they put Ohio State uh, higher than Michigan State and they take the Big Ten slot, then you could see Michigan State go to the Goodyear Cotton Bowl to play uh, Baylor or Kansas State. Uh, in the Vizio Fiesta, if, if Arizona, in playing Oregon in the, in the uh, Pac-12, if they lose, uh, then I think they fill the Vizio Fiesta. And Boise State, based on being the winner of the group of five, uh, gets placed geographically in the Vizio Fiesta Bowl. So, interesting uh, dynamic here. At number 12 and 13, if Wisconsin loses, I think they drop down. That provides an opportunity for Ole Miss to get in to uh, the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Um, if Wisconsin wins, then I think Ole Miss drops out and you've got Mississippi State playing uh, the Big Ten champ and you've got either Ohio State or Michigan State, depending on Ohio State's game against Wisconsin in the, in the, uh, the Big Ten playing against Baylor or Kansas State. A lot still to happen, a lot of championship games. Whenever there's a game to be played, there's something that's gonna happen as we saw this past weekend. So uh, that's our best estimate at what's going to happen come Sunday, who will be playing in what bowl games and the contingencies they're in. So have fun watching the games and make sure you go to a bowl game wherever your team's playing.